Amazing comments, and, and you're bang on, mate. Not everyone can charge at home. Now, I've always said from day dot that I wouldn't get an EV unless I can charge from home because you get your two people mile. What's that, a thousand mile and it costs you 20 quid? It's a no brainer. But there's a lot of positives to going the electric over than the home charging. If you got like a like a deal or like a, um, a Tesla where you can access the cheaper rapid charging, then it works out around a, a, a hybrid or a diesel car if you get like 35p per kilowatt, something like that. Um, but the other benefits of EVs, especially our, our example Tesla because I've had one, is there's no servicing costs on the Tesla, there's very low maintenance, the brake pads and discs never need to be replaced. They've got really big warranties on the worrying parts, like your batteries and your electric motors and everything else. So the only really issues you can have is with the car and tyres and suspension and stuff like that. So they're very minimalistic, not much to go wrong, very hardly any maintenance, pads, discs, nothing at all. So even though you put that to one side, I know that EV owners that are rapid charging every week, they can't home charge, and they're still saving money over the long run. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a little like and follow. And um, yeah, do you agree or disagree? And I don't know why this lighting is making me look like Batman. <laughs>